All right, so the next tool we're going to talk about is the eyedropper tool. As you can see, it is the seventh tool from the top of our toolbar. Shortcut I, select that. And what the eyedropper tool does is it lets you choose any color in your window by clicking on it. So you'll notice if I click on this yellow, my color will change to that yellow up here. Same for like these orangish pinkish tones. So if I was using something like a brush, go ahead and make this bigger. And I wanted to paint with say this green and the water, then I could just click on it and it selects it for me. Go ahead and reselect our eyedropper shortcut I. You can also change the sample size. Um, so this is just <clears throat> the point sample is just the exact pixel that you click on. Whereas something like a three by three would choose a square that is three by three pixels, take the average color in that square, and that is the color that you would get with your eyedropper. All right, so next we have the 3D material eyedropper tool. I can't really show you guys what this does here because I'm not working in 3D, but if you were working with like OBJ files and had textures on them, what the 3D material eyedropper does is let you grab a material from one 3D object. You can easily apply it to another 3D object. That goes well beyond the scope of this introduction course. So we're just gonna move on. The color sampler tool just gives you information about the point at which you click. So you can see wherever my mouse is, these numbers up here will change. And you can see the RGB values, the CMYK values, um, and as well as the X and Y coordinates. And whenever you click, it saves that information. Same thing, you can change the sample size. Uh, I like to keep it on point sample. I'm going to go ahead and undo those last two points so they're off our screen and we'll move on. Next we have our ruler tool and by clicking and dragging you can just measure anything in your image. So you'll see up here we get our length, we have our angle of the line, um, the width and the height if you were to draw a box around it. Um, and that's about it. So you can see how these things change. Um, and the first, the X, Y is just the first point that you click and start your measurement on. Next, we have our note tool. This just lets you click anywhere on your image and leave a little note. So let's say brighten or like further saturate, sky, or whatever it might be. Um, and then when we click on it with our, oh, with our move tool, it brings it up. So let me go ahead and just delete these notes. Boop, boop. And that brings us to our final tool, the count tool, similar to the note tool. Uh, this is just sort of a tool to help you as you work. So these little numbers won't show up when you actually export your image. They're more just for the editing process itself. And once again, we get rid of those by hitting Control Z. And that does it for our eyedropper tool group.